Okay guys, I found something pretty cool in Lifeless Planet, and I'm actually going to explain this one a little bit because I think this one needs a little bit of explaining. So, um, if you've seen any, well, if you've seen like a run of this game before, then you probably know we can move around during cutscenes, which we do a couple times during runs. Um, so that's not exactly new. I found a better way to do that here, like a pretty interesting way to do that here. Uh, but yeah, normally we'd start the cutscene and then kill ourselves, and then when we respawn, we would be able to move around during that cutscene. Um, also, I just want to say, in case uh, anything happens, please do not patch this because this is awesome and I like it when things like this are in games. Because um, I think they're still patching this game every once in a while. So please, don't remove my fun. Uh, so yeah, I found a better way to move around during cutscenes. And that seems to be working pretty well. So what you do is, uh, you know, in this game you pick up a log or something, or if you press tab, this screen comes up where you can read everything. And you can't move around during this, unless you press escape, and you can press last checkpoint to clear yourself, or you could go um, new game and select a chapter. I'm going to select the exact same chapter I'm in right now, so it doesn't really matter. Sometimes if I press last checkpoint, I'll get stuck. And if I, but if I do new game and then I do, do, do this, uh, the same chapter, I'm usually fine. But yeah, it loads me in here with the screen still up and I can move around, which is pretty interesting. So then what we do with this is, uh, first of all, you'll want to have your mouse cursor visible on the screen so you can press the close button there. So I believe, uh, yeah, if you press escape and then, you know, if you pause and unpause, your mouse cursor will show up. Hopefully you see that in my recording. I don't know if it uh, emits that. So I could press close now during this, so that's important. So all I have to do now is uh, start a cutscene, and then you press close, and you can move around during the cutscene. That's it. So, this is a pretty long cutscene. Oh, the camera also stays with the cutscene, so it can be pr pretty hard to move around, but you can move around. So, yeah, normally when we would kill ourselves to do this, we'd respawn at our spawn point, and we'd have to catch up. But, with this, you don't have to do that. Just hard to keep track of where you are. But yeah, that, that's how it works. Like, you just, wherever you are in that cutscene, you can move from there. It's, it's fast, like, that's like way faster than killing yourself for that specific cutscene. Alright, and I'm gonna show you another one here in the chapter called The Town. I already pressed tab on the last screen and I just, um, so this was open and I, I loaded up The Town. So this is it. What and is I'll show going you on here? I have no idea. But I'm going to show you another place to use this. I have a couple minutes of jumping here to get to a cutscene that's in this section of the game. So uh, I'll meet you up ahead. Alright, so here's the building we're going to. Also, it's important to make sure you pause and unpause to get your mouse cursor on the screen. Uh, let's make sure I don't get killed by this tornado. Okay, so this there, there's, a, there's two notes in the town you have to get. And one of them is here. So you close this during the cutscene, you can pick up this note right away, and then you can begin your run back to the town to get the air canister. Now, the problem is it's pretty difficult to see, because this cutscene isn't very friendly with the camera angles. It's, this is the best one you get right here. And after this, it's pretty much like impossible to see anything. Um, so you just kind of have to guess, see if you're facing the right way. Um, now, I did actually skip the first note. There is, there's like the two notes you have to get, so it won't tell me to get oxygen here because I didn't get the first one. But, um, you know, if you had gotten the first one, you can run back here to the oxygen tank. Oh, it is telling me. Okay, that's right. I guess you don't have to get the first note. I don't know anything about this game. Apparently. Um, but yeah, so then you can just, uh, you know, cut off a bunch of time running back here and you get that note faster. So that's a good use of it. I'm sure there's a bunch more, or you know, at least a few more uses of this that um, we'll figure out as I go through the game and mess with all there. the cutscenes. But this is a pretty simple way to skip them, and very nice to just, you know, move around during them. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully we find out some more weird stuff with this game. And don't patch it, or else.